This is a question that was seen in the recent AIMS examination. Here they have asked us that Simonot band is seen in. The options are unilateral complete central clefting, alveoloplasty, alveolar bone grafting or mouth breathing. Now what is a Simonot band? So Simonot bands are basically soft tissue adhesions or soft tissue connections which are present between the medial and the lateral portions of the cleft. So here you can see there is a cleft that is present. These soft tissue adhesions which join the cleft segments is known as Simonot bands. They are usually found uh, below the nasal cavity okay? and they are separating or they are joining the two separated segments of the cleft. So here you can see the cleft. Now this is usually seen in complete clefts. Now when I say complete cleft, I mean the clefts which are involving the alveolus. Okay, so this, these can be seen in unilateral clefts, these can also be seen in bilateral clefts. So here you see in the bilateral complete cleft where there is clefting of the alveolus on both the sides. So here you can see these Simonard bands which are connecting or which are present at the base of the nasal cavity. Right? These are soft tissue adhesions. So there is no bony structure present in them, they are only soft tissue bands or soft tissue adhesions. Now they traverse across the two segments of the clefts. So here again. You can see these bands which are present at the base of the nasal cavity, right? So, the, uh, the presence of these bands can sometimes interfere with the classification of the cleft because there are some practitioners that believe that the presence of the Simonard band means that the cleft is not complete, okay? The cleft is not complete. Whereas there are other practitioners that believe that whenever there is involvement of the alveolar segment, that cleft is complete. So even if Simonard band is present, it means the cleft is complete. So this is an area of dispute between some, some clinicians. Now another question that they could ask you from this topic of cleft lip and palate, that is unusual, is the Nordoff's point. Okay, so here the Nordoff's point is the point which is seen on the lateral part of the lip of the cleft where the vermilion is at the greatest height. So here you can see this is the lateral part of the cleft of the lip, okay, and the vermilion uh, point, vermilion uh, height is the greatest here. So this is another type of question that you can expect. So the answer here is unilateral complete central cleft lip. Okay, so this is basically seen in complete clefts, it can be seen in unilateral as well as bilateral clefts.